Hey guys, this is Seth with Flex Innovations. Just wanted to do a quick video today to explain how to download the Betaflight Configurator for your computer. Um, if you guys are using Android or iOS devices, I'll put a link down in the description for where you guys can download those as well. Um, just before we get into that though, I did want to mention our informational resource, our Flex Innovations Wiki page. Uh, so basically, uh, this just is wiki.flexinnovations.com, right? What you can see there at the top. And uh, this is just an informational resource for all of our products, including the Cypher. Uh, you can see we have uh, all of our Super PNPs, our RF, RF SVs, uh, pretty much anything Flex. We have additional information, build tips, uh, radio setup tips, all that kind of thing. So if you just take a quick quick look here at the Cypher, you can see we have first flight tips, build tips, we have links to the Betaflight Configurator, as well as the mobile applications, uh, and additional transmitter setup stuff. So if you guys have questions that you can't find in the answers to in the manual, definitely check out this wiki page. I think it'll be a great help. Okay, so to get the Betaflight Configurator on your computer, uh, we're going to want to download it from the Betaflight GitHub page. Uh, you can type this web address here directly into your web browser. Uh, I've also put a link in the video description for this as well. Now note that this is for the computer, uh, for Linux, Mac OS, and um, Windows. Uh, if you're looking for the uh, mobile application, the SpeedyB mobile application for iOS or Android, uh, I'll put links for those in the description, but this video isn't necessarily covering that because those are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once you've gone gotten to this GitHub uh, page here for the latest Betaflight releases, uh, you're just going to scroll down and to where you see latest release. Um, make sure it says latest release and not latest beta. Um, you just want to make sure you're on the latest safe version to be flying. Uh, as of the time of this shooting this video, 10.5.1 is the latest and known working well with the Cypher. Uh, so this has all the information, all the release notes, etc. down here. Uh, but to cut through all that, we're just going to come down and find the appropriate file that we want for your particular operating system. So if you're using Mac, there's your Mac file, Linux, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But we're using Windows here, so we're going to click the Windows file, and it'll download. Uh, I'm using Win uh, Chrome uh, web app. Uh, if you're using a different web app, it may not automatically download or go to a downloads folder. You can right-click and save uh, link as to a specific location. Uh, but just let that download. Once that's completed downloading, you can go ahead and find that file on your computer. Or in my case, I'm just going to click open when done so that the, the .exe file uh, starts to open and begins to run once it has finished downloading. All right, once you've uh, clicked the .exe file and told it to open, or you've just clicked open when done when downloading, uh, your computer may pop up and ask you if you want to give... Uh, beta flight permission to uh, modify the settings on your computer just click yes and it'll go ahead and open the install uh, wizard uh, to help you with the install process just follow the on-screen instructions I agree and you can choose the location where you want it installed usually the default here is fine once the install is completed it'll pop up here and say completed uh, you can go ahead and check this box if you want to go ahead and run the Betaflight Configurator and uh, let it open and run it for the first time, or you can uncheck it if you're not worried about it and just installing it for a later date. Uh, once you've made that selection, click Finish, and if you've told it to go ahead and open, it'll go ahead and open the new Betaflight Configurator. And you can see it's all... Uh, downloaded and uh, on our computer here. So in the next video we're going to talk about how to set up the receiver selection and channel order. Uh, so be sure to check that one out.